Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to another video. So today, this is just a quick video. Uh, making. I just wanted to show how to make a tree inside of Blender. So first thing you're gonna do is add, you know, a cylinder, and you wanna bring down the vertices to about like eight or twelve. So uh, for right now, I'm just gonna go in nine, and then I'm gonna go on my axis, and I'm gonna zoom in. So you should make something that looks similar similar to this and you're gonna extrude it. I prefer like you go like around here and then you extrude it again, scale it down, bring it to your left or right, uh, add a loop cut, bring it to your left or either right if you want, add another uh, just add another circle and extrude again, scale in, shoot out, and you're gonna bring this one to the top, shoot again, bring this over here, scale this one over here, right here, scale this one in, and it should look something like this. At first, it might look, look a bit crazy, but as you keep going, it start looking better. So, you keep it like this. And you're gonna bring this in a bit. Uh, I think the branch timing is a bit like skinny, so just don't mind. Just don't mind. Uh, and then what you're gonna do is just edit this one a little bit more and bring it out just like that. Control L, duplicate, rotate on the rotate on the Z axis, 900. Bring it out to your left. And something like that should be good. Let me just bring this one down a bit more. Down. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, it's starting to look good. So then, for actually, let's. It's better to sm uh, shade smooth it and go down here. Go to your normals, auto smooth. And pick a number that I that actually makes it look good. I'll go with 40. I think this one uh, makes it look fine. And then I'm gonna import a UV sphere. I'm gonna scale it down. And I'm gonna add uh, a circle. Bring the the vertices all the way to nine or eight. I'm gonna go for nine for this one. Gonna just. Oops. Gonna just fill this in with F, scale this down, bring this one over here, try centering it, and just scale, just scale it down. Just like that. And then you're gonna extrude this a bit more, and you're gonna duplicate, bring that down, duplicate again, and this one, what I recommend you do is go up here. Individual origins, scale it up a bit, then go back to medium point, duplicate, rotate on your Z, on your Z axis, 90, and you should have something like this. So what you're gonna do now is select the ones on the sides, Control L, duplicate, rotate, and something like this. I'm gonna uh. Then you're gonna make individual origins again. Scale this out or scale it in if you want. And you're gonna go back to medium point, do the same thing, and rotate it. Just like that. So for this one, I'm gonna scale it uh, I'm gonna scale it out a bit and just make it a bit bigger. And now go back to medium point. Uh, duplicate actually select these faces actually yeah let's look let's have to, let's select them uh duplicate rotate just like that duplicate rotate just like that should look something like this let me just oh yeah also i recommend like you also make these ones like different shapes too let me fix that real quick There we go. 
yeah that's good and then you're gonna scale it out go back to medium point do the same thing again scale it out a bit more and it should look something like this I think this looks good and then for now what I recommend doing is also duplicating it, scale it inside hold up scale it inside or just go to edit mode scale it down and look up rotate it and just bring this one out or yeah just bring it out actually not out uh, bring it inside gotta try to close it in no, not this just like that Alright, I'm just gonna scale this one out a bit more. Just like that. There you go. So it should look something like this. And then what we're gonna do is shade smooth it. Shade smooth this thing too. Go to auto smooth. Smooth it out. Auto smooth again. And then you're gonna select it. Duplicate. Bring it over here. Scale it out. Do the same thing right here. I recommend you rotate it just like that. Bring it over here, scale it in, make it smaller. Bring it right here, rotate like that. Bring it over here, rotate just like that. And you should have something like this, something similar to this. And then you're gonna bring it up, look up, uh, and scale it out. And you, it should look similar to this. Something like this is good. Oh yeah, I also recommend having this thing out just in case like you group everything up and like maybe you gotta lower the vertices or yeah, just something like that. What you're gonna do now is select that outside, like the leaves are outside, something real quick. And that should look, that should be good. Just select all of them, control J. I'm just gonna press H to hide it real quick. Select all of them again. Control J and that should be good and I'm gonna press H again select the balls and control J again and I'm gonna press alt H to unhide all the stuff and it should come back just like that and that's really if like right now so I'll just you know do some stuff real quick and come back so what I'm gonna do is import the thing that I made let me import it real quick. And I'm gonna click apply all. Let's just wait for it to finish. Gonna import it in. Insert the location. Gonna select this. Scale it out. Not too big but just like something like this something like this works and then I prefer you smooth you smooth it up make it smooth plastic just for a nicer look select one of the leaves make a lighter green color it's like one of the leaves in here make it a um, much more darker color actually the lighter yeah something like this and select the center and just make it, uh, make it um, lighter color, something like this. Hold up, something like this works. Let me just change the color of this. Nope, not this one. Yeah, something like this works, and. For the branch, what I recommend is make it a dark pine cone color. Go into color and make it like a tannish color, something like this. And that's how you make a tree inside Blender and import it into Roblox Studio. All right, I'll be making more videos soon. Thank you for watching and just like and subscribe. Just help me out. Thank you.